for doing another video once again. So, I'm doing a Whitaker video once again because the game didn't freaking save, and I made a video about that. So, I'm just going to do something normal, and I'm standing. Normal. So, we're going to be reacting to Snarg. They make the best scary content. Let's just, let's just watch. The monster who mocks. We all know the story of the boy who cried wolf. Mm -hmm. It's an old warning to be wary of calling monsters out. For once you call them, you might not be able to control them while they're there. Since I was a kid, I've always been a prankster. Not small, momentary gags. I specialize in long, intricate, slow-burning pranks that would drive someone to the brink of madness before finally revealing the lie. Tormenting people was my favorite hobby, which is why my parents sent me to a boot camp for troubled teens. Rigid schedules, strict discipline, intense drills. It was supposed to help me, but it was obvious from the start that the instructors loved tormenting us kids. This place couldn't possibly be sanctioned. We were prisoners. I needed out. So I hatched my greatest prank yet to be free of this place. Breaking into the comms building of this sham of a military boot camp was easy. Turning on the PA system? Even easier. Using my most inhumane voice, spewing guttural sounds from my throat, I thundered. I will rip you all apart. From the comms window, I saw confused kids stopping their torturous drills. The head drill instructor spun around in surprise and tripped on his face. My laughter boomed out of the speakers. The furious look on his face was priceless. Come and get me. I baited. My discipline was swift and harsh. I'll just say that the nicest part of it was having to sprint obstacle courses all throughout the night. While I was out there, on the far end of the obstacle course, away from the instructor minding me, I heard something. An inhuman screech that sliced through the air. It sounded like the perfect mimic of the noises I made earlier. At the tree line, I saw it. A blank-faced creature with sharp claws and an open mouth, a smirk twitching its face. In the blink of an eye, it was right in front of me, towering over me, teeth gleaming, drool dripping onto my face, hunching over, limbs bent at odd angles, it reached out, held my face as it spoke to me. I've been watching you. I'll help you because you help me. Nodding in agreement slowly, afraid for my life, I didn't know what it meant, but I'd give it anything to go away. Then it started changing. It shrank, body parts shifting into a human form. When it was finally done, it was as if I was staring in a mirror. It looked exactly like me. It mimicked my voice perfectly. I'll help you get what we both want. Striding back into the forest, wearing my face, it disappeared into the trees. The instructor ran up to me then, blaming me for the screeching noise and doubled my punishment. All the next day, I was in my bunk, recovering from yesterday's torment. Weirdly enough, though, the day after that, kids were looking at me distrustfully. A series of deadly pranks were happening around the boot camp. A collapsing obstacle course, snapped ropes, and so on and so on. And every day, somehow, my screech would sound over the PA system. I wasn't doing it, but nobody believed me. Would you? I barely believed me. And it kept I, I happening, day after day. The screech would echo, the pranks would happen, and I would be punished all over again. My life was becoming a living nightmare. I was being punished, ridiculed, no one trusted me. It was the mimic, though, and I had to escape. I waited until the next time I heard that screech. This time, it was during lights out. I grabbed a hatchet and snuck out of the boot camp. My flashlight scanned the dark forest as I ran, light flitting across the trees, and suddenly spotlighted my own face staring back at me. It was the mimic. It raced towards me, and everything went black. When I woke no. up, the sun was shining. No. I was still in the woods, and I was alone. There was no sign of the shapeshifter. 
but there was the sound of a building collapsing and people screaming. In the sky, I could see great clouds of smoke. What is this thing? Keep I stumbled along. through the woods to get this back, but the boot camp for trouble teams was already like gone, crumbling, them? exploding, ablaze. Nothing was spared. As I ran through the gates, wounded instructors hid behind their hands, and kids fled away from me for their lives, growing more terrified when they saw my face. Please don't eat us, they begged. Monster, they cried. I was too stunned to speak. It wasn't me. It was the thing that it used my face. I'll help you get what we both want, it had said. It felt like I was the mark in one of my I own pranks. Now. The shapeshifter burst out of the wreckage. But this time, as it rose from the rumble, a hulking, bloody menagerie of different body parts, all mimicked from its devoured victims. This thing is strong, Licking its dude, chops, it said, I've been starving for so long. And now, we're both free. <gasps> Striding past me, it vanished into the woods. Leaving me so behind the girl helped the monster, in the wreckage and then the that monster it had left. helped the girl. So they're both free. She could leave the camp and the monster could... Thank you to all of our stuff. patrons. While we do run a limited amount of ads... Um... Well, guys, I think I'm going to leave it here. That was great. That was just Okay, that was creepy. Hey, my dark darlings. Uh, before we get into today's episode, I wanted to tell you about one of our sponsors, without whom...